Welcome back to SWAT Corps and the 18th running of the Passion for Speed Festival. Daft trucks were in the house doing a massive activation with their huge behemoths. And another man who's been here for nearly 22 years but been racing since 1965, David Piper. David Piper, the series is named after you. You've come back to South Africa. There's going to be a great day in your life, I suppose. It really is. I'll never forget it. It's wonderful. We always love coming back here. And great to drive around in a car as well, in a fantastic Ferrari. Paolo always lets me drive one of his cars. He's very kind, you know, and uh, it's always nice to have a drive around. The circuit hasn't changed much, and, um, you know, it's good. Lovely crowd today. I want to ask you one question. What are you going to do when you grow up? Uh, well, <laughs> I just don't want it to grow. I don't want to stop. <laughs> From what legend to a whole bunch of legends of the nine hour now, the SKF Legends of the Nine Hour production cars. Great to see some production car drivers stepping up as well. We're going to see the likes of Henny Kruvalt, who's a usual contender, alongside Sorrel van der Merwe. But Michael Steven, for the very first time in the big 57 Black Widow, is going to be fighting hard alongside his stablemate from the Polo Cup from a few seasons ago, Jeff Kruger. So this is a massive field of big names about to go to do battle. And we're going to be seeing some big action. And it usually gets side by side with these big blocks of flats. We go on board with Michael Steven and any glass companies out there got a 57 Chevy windscreen, we'd like it, please. Down towards turn one is Jonathan Detoy in the Chevy Nova, but Henny Krunewald gets the whole shot. Mark Detoy oh, coming around oh, the outside oh, of Michael Steven, and there is already action as Sorrel van der Merwe puts the toy sideways. Great catch from Mark Detoy. Super van in the big galaxy there, just showing the way around, and Mark Detoy had no answer in the fair lane. He's now stone lost and have to come through there in the green machine. Oh, if you can't beat them, just put them out in turn number one. Zorro van der old school stuff there from him. So they come through, combined about 30,000 championships here, being raced out on track for the crowd to enjoy. Let's catch up with the newcomer and GTC champion, Michael Steven. Michael Steven, first time at the International Passion for Speed, so this is going to be a brand new experience for you. Yeah, fantastic to be here. You know, big thanks to, to Peter DeToy and the team for inviting me. And uh, yeah, so far it's been a fantastic experience and uh, looking forward to the rest of the weekend. And to mix it with the legends, Sorrel and Royce. Yeah, it's a fantastic. It's going to be an honor to be able to race with them. Um, you know, when I was young growing up, you know, those are the sort of guys that I used to go to the track at five, six years old, you know, and watch. So to have the opportunity to race against them, you know, it's, it's obviously a fun race. And uh, But, you know, racing is always competitive and uh, we'll see what happens. Having to step into a couple of vehicles, he's uh, now doing not a bad job as Peter Lindenberg comes through on him and on Jeff Kruger. Kruger having to fight there with Lindenberg, but the front at the front end is starting to heat up. Lindenberg under attack there from Kruger. Kruger also squeezing Michael Steven wide out of turn two. Steven using the grass, oh. that's the way. Put that Blackwood on the inside. The Cheval's got no answer. He's found great drive, and it's now side by side by two current champions in South African motorsport. GTC champion versus Polo Cup champion as they go through turn four. This is incredible. Oh, it really is the talent from that man. He can drive a goat card, he can climb into a GTC, and he can climb in here for the first time and mix it with some of the legends at the top of the hill making the move now. Sorrel van der Merwe doing what he does best. Look at that sideways stuff. Oh, these legends are putting on an absolute show here. Henny Grunewald. I've never seen a car that long get that sideways. Lee Thompson in there as well in the red one and nearly went right into the boot. There's enough space to park that oh, galaxy again. there. And again, it's all about Grunewald sideways. Watch him. Oh, Thompson's got a problem. He peels off in that trans African no, he's racing galaxy. He doesn't want to be involved with this. He's Probably not up. a bad idea, hey? Probably not a bad idea. When it's getting this hectic, that's exactly what you want to do. Stay out of the way. Now as they head down towards turn one again, Grunewald with Sorrel van der Merwe. Van der Merwe around the outside in the Ford Galaxy. Can he make it stick? No, he can't. Phew, that's a big car to get around the outside of turn one. He's got the inside line now. Will Grunewald give him some room? Yes, he will, but only enough just to squeeze through. And now they put the power down and head towards three. It is the Chevy Nova waiting for two mistakes from those Fords up front. Oh, Jeff Kruger now. He's also pulled into the pits with some kind of problem, so that's a pity. But that's not hampering the action out front. Yeah, Henny Krudenwald, I think he's having a lot of fun in that car because he's smoking it up and leaving dark. He's all the way around this track. Sorrel from him over to the top of the hill now. He's got Henny Krudenwald right on his inside. Sorrel gets that car out of shape at the top under the brakes. They're both very late on the brakes. Oh, he gets tagged. Sorrel from him over goes spinning around. Oh, Jonathan Detoy is going to do well to miss. Yes, he does. Sorrel van der Merwe. That has put his any chances he had now of picking up that one. He's down in about 6th or 7th place. When in doubt, pin it. exactly <laughs> what he did coming out of that manoeuvre. He's back on track in about 6th place as you said, Rob. France van Em in the Plymouth or oh! of in the GNA Strathport corner and literally 180 degrees the wrong way around and France van Em with some work to do. There's the tag. Watch for it. 
Bang! Little tap there from Krenovalt. He outbraked himself. So did Sorrel. They're not going to have any issues with that. That was a racing incident as they come through there. But the Nova and Lindenberg in with a shot now. Possibly getting in there and getting past those two lead cars. When are these guys going to learn that these cars don't have traction control? They don't have ABS. They don't have electronics of any kind. They don't even have air cons. But these guys are learning. And this is exactly what the crowd have come to look at. Look at Henny Krenovalt. That is spectacular behind him. Jonathan Detoy now going very defensive to try and hold off Peter Lind Lindenberg to the line and Michael Steven up in the top four. Sideways oh. Krenovalt. Henny G oh, in man. full flight. You don't get better than that. Across the line to take the checkered flag for race one ahead of Detoy and Lindenberg. Michael Steven comes to for a fourth place in his first outing in the Legends. Not a bad effort from him. Michael Campagna in the first of the Galaxies beating out Supervan there in sixth place. Henny Krenovalt had a phenomenal day, so did Sorrel van der Merwe. Let's catch up with both of them after that amazing first heat. We had a few scary moments, but then sadly up at the top, I, I tried to have, have a go on the brakes, and we both got a little bit squirrely. Um, and I was sort of with my nose in on the inside, and he still was squirrely, so he's not upset with me at least. So, uh, yeah, it was a good dice. We really enjoyed it. It was a wonderful race right up there where we touched. It's not a, it wasn't, it's a, it was a proper racing incident because we both brake late. And my car's back end got a bit loose, so I actually slid into his line and we touched. And uh, unfortunately, I was bumped into a full 180 degree spin, so uh, I couldn't get back into the field. But uh, then there's always another hit, so we'll see what happens then. And that another heat is about to come. Look at that, a little bit of fun and games in the pits. You can see, oh, I like that little tap. Might expect a bit of retribution there from Supervan in race number two now. A little bit of damage at the front end. That was also because of him and Mark Tutoy. We're going to combine under two liters and the Nomads now into the big second race here of the production cars and legends of the nine hour. Proudly brought to you by SKF and look at this field waiting to go. This is what it's all about. This is what everybody's come to see, Rob. This is why there's such a massive crowd out here at SWAT Corps this weekend to see this kind of action. And it's Henny Krunewald alongside Jonathan Detoy as they head towards turn one. Well, if it's anything like race number one, we are in for one heck of a race number two. I'm keen to see Henny Krunewald. Wasn't getting it too sideways enough for me in race number one. Let's see what he can do in race number two. Sol van der as he said, there's always another race and he's going to come now and he's come to play hard. And he's looking for a way through there on Michael Steven. Michael Steven was giving him a bit of a ragging as the under two liters head down into turn one as well. Start things out with Vic Camper at the front end and leading down towards turn two. He's got Mark Miller alongside him, Trevor Tuck on his tail and Denzel Barner, race one winner. They're ready in fourth place and around the outside of Polter as they come through turn two. A little bit of battle scars at the back end there for the 227 car and looks like Franco Francesco Lombardi's got some work to do. Speaking of work, it's already on through turn four and they are side by side again. So Rob van der using the additional bit of power in that galaxy to get away from Michael Steven and close down on Lindenberg. Yeah, Jonathan Detoy trying to go around the outside of turn number four. Top of the hill now again, turn number five. He's on the outside line. See Kronovalt again just leaving those darkies all over the track and here comes Sorrel van der He's now got up into third place. Michael Steven a little bit off the pace now. Maybe can't see out of that windscreen, but coming through there again, Henny Krunewald and Jonathan Detoy side by side, but they better look now, because here comes Sorrel. Detoy into the inside line through GNH Transport Corner, oh. but it is literally <laughs> oh, sideways Henny this time, as they come onto the main straight. Here coming onto the main straight is under two litres, and it's the two Volvos, as Polter's got those gearbox issues sorted out, and back in the second place, he's probably looking to get through on his teammate, but Barner is the man who could potentially spoil the day for all of them, as he comes through there and looks to get up ahead of both those Volvos. Carl Pina also not too far behind there. Patrick Gearing as well. Mark Miller right in the mix there as well. Char Tendershate with those battle scars. He's right up in the mix. So good little battle going on here. Great racing all the way through the field. We've got the Legends at the front in the big cars and the Legends here in the under two leaders a little bit further back. But out front, Henny Krunewald still lighting it up, still getting it sideways. But yeah, Soro van der Merwe up into second place now. Ahead of Jonathan Detoin. He gets it sideways. You're going to go four abreast at the top of the hill. You cannot get those four cars side by side at the top of the hill. There's just not enough space. Detoy, though, trying to hold off the challenge there now. Peter Lindenberg, Michael Steven a little bit further back there. Jeff Kruger, great to see him and sorted out that car problem back up there in seventh place. Kruger having a little bit of bonnet issues in that first one. Manning's to get it all sorted out now, but it is all about Henny Krunewald, Sorrel van der Merwe and Detoy as they come down into GNH Transport again. This time out, though, the East Tennessee Motor <laughs> Company, Mercury Comet is sideways and looking like it's the car to beat. Sorrel van der Merwe is thinking to himself, hang on a second, that's the guy who tapped me off in race one. Let me see what I can do about Henny Krunewald's sideways action. Maybe I can help him get it a bit more sideways. I think Henny's coming onto the start line, getting it sideways so the timekeeper is just make sure they get his number right. Car number 88, look at it. Oh, it's a beautiful shot there of all the cars coming through. You can see the beautiful atmosphere here 
at the Passion for Speed, the 18th running of this incredible event out at Swatcombs Raceway. On board once again with Michael Steven wrestling all that horsepower around turn number three as we go back to the under two leaders. Yeah, Kampfer losing second place there to Palter. Palter going through and squeezing him out. Still Volvos, one, two, twos in first and second place. Pretty much where they've been since they've been cu coming to the under two-liter class. But you can see they're under threat and Miller dives on the inside. No, that's Tuck. Trevor Tuck on the inside. Mark Miller. Oh! Camper out of shape. Right in front of Sorrel van Merver as he goes to the front end and gets ahead of Henny Grunewald. Can you believe that action? Sideways from the Volvo. And next thing you've got a Mercury Comet and a Ford Galaxy about to shut you down. We're coming to the closing stages. The checkered flag is on standby. Polter is going to go through. He's still got a lap to go. But right on his tail. Watch out for the battle coming to the line. Is it going to be super fan to take the win? It is! Sorrel van Merver wins out ahead of Henny Grunewald. The crowd are going to go ballistic. Oh, Greg, that is incredible stuff. The under two leaders just threw a little bit of a spanner in the works at the top of the hill, but didn't play too much of a key role. Sorrel van der does pick up the win ahead of Henny G and Jonathan Detoy in the under two leaders. It was all about Alan Poulter, Trevor Tuck and Roger Houston. We got Vic Kempfer standing by for a chat. And then Alan and I had a ding-dong dice, and then Trevor joined us, and um, we got to corner five. Uh, in the breaking zone, Trevor locked up. So, so I left space and left space, but uh, I think we touched there. And uh, I went off and uh, he went on to finish the race. So yeah, well, it's still a magnificent race. A really enjoyable, uh, a really nice people to race against. Let's catch up with Supervan now after an incredible outing at the 18th Passion for Speed. Well, both these were very busy. The first one, uh, I got that tagged and spun and came six again, so I had to come back from sixth place again. But uh, the car is wonderful and it's a wonderful team I'm involved with here. It was, like you said, it was a perfect day at the end.